Edge Squad. Welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool material here, and basically what this is, is a bone conduction headphone. So you see this is what the package looks like when you guys first get it. If you guys turn on to the side, they probably got some specs and features that's on here. And if you guys turn on to the other side, they probably got some more specs and features that's on here as well. And on top right here, they tell you guys what kind of device you can use it on. In the bottom, they show you guys when to actually use it. And it's actually really cool to use it while you guys are driving if you guys want to. So that way you can be aware of the surrounding when you guys are driving. And in the back, they probably got some specs and feature on here as well in terms of how to use these different buttons. But that is everything that's on the product. Let me actually open it up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So I'm gonna pull this part open like this. Once you guys do that, you can definitely see the product inside. So let's take it out. They also have a little small little box inside that probably has all the accessories. So let's open up first. All right. So once you guys open up, you can definitely see the stuff inside. Let's take all of it out. So inside they do probably got a USB to micro USB cable. So you guys can use that to recharge the headphone. Right here they probably got a user manual to teach you guys how to use it. And right here they probably got some earplugs that you can use as well if you guys want to. And that is everything in a small little box. Now let's take a look at the actual headphone right here. So you can see the way how they designed the headphone looks pretty nice. On the side right here is where you guys want to put it onto the side of your head. And I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. On this side right here, you can see we do have a button and that's probably the play and pause button. If you guys look at the bottom of the other side, we have a bunch of buttons on this side. So we do have a power button, a plus and minus button that probably is for increasing and lower the volume. And right here is where you can plug in the cable to charge it. So if you guys open it up, that is what the inside looks like. So that is where you can plug in the actual micro USB cable. And I believe for the actual headphone, they do have a built-in microphone. So that way, if you guys make calls on here, you guys can do that as well. And like I mentioned earlier, for the actual product, it is pretty lightweight. It's almost like holding nothing when you guys feel it. And when you guys kind of flex this around, it's actually pretty flexible. So that way, it makes it a lot easier for you guys to actually put it onto your head when you guys do set it up. And in terms of the battery life that's on here, it should give you guys roughly around 6 to 8 hours of usage on one full charge. And the time that it takes to fully charge the product should take around like 2 hours from 0 to 100. And when you guys feel the side of the product, it definitely feels really soft and very smooth. But that is everything that's on the product. Before I actually test it out, let me plug in the cable to show you guys how to charge it up. So as I'm plugging the cable on the bottom. So once you guys plug in the cable, you can see right here, there's a red indicator light that pops on. So that is how you guys know when it's charging. And I believe once it's fully charged, the light should turn off or change a different color like green or something. So that is how you guys charge the product. Now let's turn it on to test it out and see how it works. So the way how you guys put it on is actually very easy. All you need to do is just put this around your neck and just hang it around your ear like this. So once you guys set it up, this is what the file looks like on this side and this special looks like on the other side. So now I'm going to turn it on to connect it onto your phone and just test it out to see how well the audio is on here. All right, so we got connected. Let's test it out. So the volume on here is kind of low. Let me actually increase it. I want to press the plus button right here. All right, so I got a max. So when you guys test out the audio that's on here, it sounds pretty good. Obviously it won't sound as good compared to like in-ear headphones or on-ear headphones because the music is coming from the side right here and not on your ear. But like I mentioned, the good thing about having a bone conduction headphone is that, that way when you guys are using it, you guys can be aware of the surrounding when you guys are listening to music. But if you guys notice when we actually test it out, the volume controls on here definitely does work. So all you have to do is press the plus and minus to increase or lower the volume. And if you guys want to play and pause the music, you guys can press the power button on the side right here. So if I tap it one time, that is how you guys play and pause the music. If you guys want to skip the song, go back to the previous song, you guys can press and hold the plus and minus. So just like this. All right, so that is how you guys skip the song and go back to the previous song. And then if you guys want to answer or reject a call, you guys can press the button right here with the play and pause button. So that is how you guys use all the different button controls on here. But now let's test out the audio to see what it sounds like on the microphone. All right, so we got a recorder. Let's test it out. All right, so what you guys are listening to right now is the audio that's coming from the microphone on the headphone. If you guys can hear what it sounds like. Now let's listen to the audio to see what it sounds like first. So after listening to the audio that's on the microphone right here, it definitely sounds pretty clear. But for some reason, I'm not sure if it's here or not, but there's that like screeching noise. But if you can hear the audio that's on the microphone, it is pretty clear. So if you guys want to use it for making calls or doing interviews or whatever, you can definitely use it how you guys want to. And also, like I mentioned, for the headphones right here, they are sweat resistant. So if you guys get sweat on here or a little splash of water, it should be fine, which is perfect, especially if you guys are planning to use it for like working out. But that is everything that's on Bada. Not a good unboxing and testing Bada. Now the end question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. 
So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want my these warranties, especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality phone conduction headphone that's affordable and has the same design that's on here, that I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't want or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.